2010 is the 50th anniversary of the Scottish National Gallery of Modern Art, and it's the first time in the gallery will have been rehung in its entirety since it moved here in 1984. The great thing about the series of displays through the whole of 2010 is that admission is free. It's the nation's collection. And we hope over the year and the course of the exhibitions to bring to a wider public exactly what it is that makes this gallery and its collection world famous. We're going to be showing old favourites, works which are rarely hung. We're going to be showing them in thematic displays with unusual combinations. So, for example, upstairs we're going to have works painted around 1910, looking at colour. And then you're going to walk through into a room dedicated to pop and op art, made in the 1960s, and again examining colour, but by a different generation of artists. The constructivism room is, is probably one of my favourites, I think, of, of the rooms here because the room itself, I think, looks really clean. It's quite a wow effect when you go in and the sculpture hanging from the ceiling. I think it all really plays off each other quite nicely. And then you've got the light sculpture next door just on its own. I think that, that those two spaces for me are really strong. And it's really, I think it's, it's kind of art about thought. And I think that's a really exciting possibility with all the rooms and how they play off each other. Artist Rooms is part of our collection of the National Galleries that is shared throughout the nation. And from it we'll be showing Diane Arbus, Robert Therrien, Gilbert and George, Ian Hamilton Finlay, big, big international names. A very exciting project that we've... Um, embarked upon um, is to commission the um, Scottish painter, Scottish-based painter Richard Wright to paint two of the stairwells in the Dean Gallery. He works in a very painstaking manner um, painting onto the gallery walls. He's on the whole done very few permanent wall paintings. So this will be the first of its kind in Scotland. The gallery grounds have always been an important site for sculpture, um, but we're expanding that this year in that we're working with the British sculptor Anthony Gormley, who I suppose is best known for the Angel of the North and also the figures on Crosby Beach. As always with such an ambitious artist, he challenged us with with, with a work which extends out into the city, um, six figures which will be sighted in the gallery grounds and then in the water of Leith itself, which stretches from the gallery to the sea with a final figure positioned on an abandoned pier in Leith Docks. One major aspect that propels our collection into the world's greatest collections is our holdings of Dada and Surrealist art. In the summer, at the Dean Gallery, we will be holding a definitive exhibition of Dada and Surrealism. Artists like Magritte, Miro, Duchamp, Giacometti, Ernst, these are world-class artists, and the collection contains world-class works by these artists. As well as the historic works from the collection, we're also working with artists now. We will be showing, for example, a huge monumental installation by Scottish artist Martin Boyce, who represented Scotland in the Venice Biennale, the most prestigious art event in the world. Outside in the grounds, there are two new works, again by a young Scottish artist, one in the grounds of the Dean Gallery by Nathan Coley. There will be no miracles here. And another one on the facade of the Gallery of Modern Art by Martin Creed, Turner Prize winner a couple of years ago. And the work just spells out everything is going to be all right, which on the front of a neoclassical facade, which is slightly stern and maybe awe-inspiring, it just makes you feel slightly more at ease coming into something that, let's face it, for a lot of people, the idea of modern contemporary art is quite forbidding. It's not. It should be a palace of fun, a palace of propositions and proposals, and in a way, this is what we're offering through the collection throughout the whole of 2010.